So we're going to do square stitch. Square stitch is the stitch that you would use if you were had a loomed pattern and you wanted to do it off loom. This is a stitch that most resembles loom work. Uh, I'm going to put a stopper bead on this time. So I've got a little 15 that I'm going to go through twice and that will act as my stopper bead so my beads don't fall off my thread. I'm going to load up two size 8 seed beads and two 3 millimeter pearls. Okay, so here you go. Now we have to add a bead on top for a second row and here I'm going to actually switch these over. So I'm going to add a seed bead above the pearl and as you can see I'm coming in on the opposite angle from where the thread is coming out. So my thread is going to form a circle. And when I do that, my bead sits atop my pearl. And I can go through to step up. Now I add the second bead in the same way. Add the bead, come through the second pearl, Come through, we can get our needle in there, come through the second pearl, and then go back through the seed bead. Okay. Now I'm going to add a pearl and go through the same process. Come through, pearl sits on top and go through the pearl. And a second pearl through the seed bead and we can hold this always tough when it starts to trying to show you when we're beginning things. Then we go back through the pearl. I'm going to work now with another of the seed beads. So this is now row three. And we are going to add the seed bead going back through. Again, you see that you're looking for that circle around your bead all the time. That thread makes that circle. And then step up through the bead you just added. we we'll add another one back in through the pearl oh this one's decided, oh there it goes thought it was going to say no I don't really have a hole in there okay, let me pull that in it sits we go through the bead we just added now we're going to do it back to the pearl through the next seed bead on the row below, pull it in, and through the pearl we just added. Another pearl through the seed bead, make that circle so that our bead sits up on top and back through the bead we just added. So we get a nice little just de simple design going on there just with two beads and square stitch. You can work many different things for square stitch. It's a very uh, handy stitch you have in your repertoire. I think it tends to get uh, not used so much. But as you can see it's just a really nice easy stitch and you can pretty much add anything on top of anything with this stitch.
we're going to just do a few more rows and then we'll show you how to put a pico on it just give it a finish off okay so I'm going to do a few more rows and I will show you how to put a pico edging we'll be back nice little bit of um, a square stitch edged with some drops you could make a whole bracelet in that and it'd be very very pretty uh, again basic stitches you know, refresh yourself re learn something new uh, they're very very uh, fun to do and you'll be surprised at having them in your ep repertoire when you might need something a stitch that you don't use I know people use peyote a lot I know I do uh, and they get stuck on one stitch don't be afraid to uh, learn other stitches and work with other stitches and combine them okay there you go